Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to part two of this stream. We had some technical difficulties last stream, had to restart it, so this is part two, I guess, now. Welcome, welcome everybody. Sorry for the technical difficulties if you were just here. I apologize, we had to restart the server and restart the stream and everything. So hopefully, from here on out, things go smoothly. If anything, it was, it's probably, probably a good idea that it's probably a good idea that it happened in the beginning, if anything, and not interrupt us when we're in the meat and the potatoes, you know what I mean? So, let's make sure our stream looks good. That is great. That is good news. Um, that's good. That is good. That is good. Okay, good. Let's get back in the game. Weather clear. And let's get to City Hall. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Really, 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 really sorry about all the bullshit that just happened right now. A lot of it was out of our control. Oh, shit. Jab, everyone's waiting for you, and then we're gonna start. Roger that. Sorry about that. Nah, you're good. Don't worry about it. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah. Showtime! Oh, there he is. There he is. Alright, everybody important that. is here. You can begin. That's right. Alrighty. Let's, uh, can we question Mr. Copeland? Prosecution, you may approach and question your witness. May I continue where I left off? Oh shit! Uh, no. Sure, you're welcome. So, Marcus, where did you no go uh, after everything in the courthouse, the election? Um, well, it was pretty clear that Matthew Senge and Jebediah Longnuts and his crew were quite angry at me. Um, Objection, and speculation. They, they have it's not a... speculation. You want to well, I mean, it's we weren't angry. We we're disappointed. disappointed. Okay, that's that's just your your own view. That's not speculation, right. Your Honor. Oh my god! What? Bailiff, let's check out that explosion. I'll be back. Excuse me. Right. Excuse me this is a disaster! Yeah. Um, anyways, the small, and I mean very small amount of people who follow Matthew Senge, uh, you know, may have presented danger to my life. So I was advised by my security guard to go out this hallway to my right, um, down the stairs and outside to my personal vehicle. Uh, where we then drove to my house. Were you alone, or did you go with Kevin, or...? It was me and my security guard, um... And can you guys hear everything okay? Can you hear me okay? Okay, and once you got to your house, what happened? What did you do? Once I arrived in my house, I received a call from one Jebediah Longnuts, saying that he wanted to meet me back at the courthouse to discuss some sort of meeting. And did you? Uh, yes. Then I got in my vehicle and headed back towards the Objection, courthouse. Objection, leading! Overruled. That was not a leading question. Yeah. Once you got to the courthouse, what happened? So once we got to the courthouse, came back in this uh, courtroom. Most of the people had cleared out by then. Um, this it's happening. About ten minutes after the election results were announced, um, I could hear arguing coming from the judges' room, this back left room, uh, or this back right room, uh, from your perspective. Um, I went inside of there, um, and I saw me and Kevin came to this, the room at the same time. Uh, we then saw Matthew Senge, Jebediah Longnuts, and his French accomplice, I don't know his name, um, all standing there. The French one had a shotgun in his hand, weapon drawn. Uh, then we went around the desk that is in that back room to find uh, Nathan Mason, with blood all over his face, a gunshot wound in his head, and uh, duct tape placed on his mouth. Um, after that, oh, I'm, uh, I'm throwing Cole whoever was, put the duct tape on him under the bus. He drew his uh, registered firearm and started to um, aim it at the man with the shotgun because he had a gun in his hand, and there was a presumably dead person on the ground. Um, we then de-escalated the situation, agreed that we should talk about what happened. Um, Did and I put duct tape on it? That's when uh, Did I really? Commissioner Cliff came into the room. I didn't what do that. Once Cliff came into the room, I did not put duct tape on his once mouth. Cliff Someone watched that room, shit back. I did not put uh, duct tape on his mouth. We're glad to see. Oh, if any, if anything, I can lie anyway. I'm just gonna lie. If I did, I'm gonna lie. Of the police department. Uh, so we basically said, told him what happened. We just came into the room. Nathan Mason appears to be dead, and um, 
you know, Matthew Sinn, Shabbat Alon, that's in the French man, you play some buffs because they were the only ones in the room with Nathan Mason. Um, Cliff then denied putting them in cuffs and told us to leave the premises. Ah, oh, dude, this server's not looking so good, man. Uh -oh. Dude, is he la is his voice lagging for you guys, too? Yeah. Oh, my yes, God, sorry, bro. I get my question? No, one more time. Well, it's not terrible around. yet, so... Did you leave and you left Mason on the floor, or what happened then? Uh, we denied leaving for a short period of time. Uh, I believe that's when uh, Camilla Martinez walked into the room um, and started beginning medical treatment on Mr. Mason. She took Mr. Mason to presumably an ambulance or the hospital and the premises. I assumed a 911 was called then. Camilla showed up? Um, no, actually, Jebediah Long has called Camilla's personal phone number to have her specifically show up. Oh, uh, was she alone or did she have any anyone else with her? She was alone. Okay, so she took him out herself? Uh, yeah, she alone took him out of the judge's room. Okay, after all this went down, what happened then? Where did you go? Um, we then were leaving the premises. Uh, me, Kevin, and my security guard were met back at the my personal SUV. We began going back to my house when Jebediah Longnuts called me again and wanted to still have this meeting that he wanted to have uh, very badly. So we told him to meet us at our house. Okay, and did he turn up? He did. Um, oh, he fuck showed yeah, up in a similar up. SUV with um, himself, Matthew Senge, and Frenchy, the French guy. Um, Who's the French we guy? We told everyone to stay outside oh. except for me, um, Kevin, uh, LSPD officer Matthew Cook was on the scene, and Matthew Senge and Jebediah Long, that's to go inside. Okay, so what happened when everyone was inside? So we told Matthew Cook to wait by the door to make sure that no one came in and barged on in our meeting. Uh, we went into the living room and proceeded with the meeting. Um, that's when Jebediah Longnuts and Matthew Senge offered me and Kevin Copeland $5 million to hand over the title of mayor <laughs> to Matthew Senge. Uh, so you <gasps> denied this request? Uh, so we actually, me and Kevin went into another room to act like we were discussing, you know, uh, whether to take this deal or not. Um, in all reality, we were calling Mr. Nathan Mason to have him come to our house. Um, and we waited until Mr. Mason right came here. in the front door of our house. Um, that's when we told Matthew Cook to arrest Jebediah Longnuts and Matthew Senge. And that's when they both uh, proceeded to try to run away. Okay, um, after they ran away, what happened? Were they caught? They ran out the front door. We all chased them. Um, Matthew Cook tackled Math or yeah, Matthew Cook tackled Matthew Singe, placed him in cuffs, and then um, Frenchy, the guy with the French guy, started shooting at Matthew Cook, and then it was an all-out firefight warfare i took cover behind a bush i couldn't see what happened once i came out from the bush kevin copeland matthew singe matthew or matthew cook matthew singe jebediah Longnuts, uh and the french oh my god who's this guy with his fucking ground. phone whoever's phone is ringing can you turn off your damn phone Bro, <laughs> bro, can we just have a smooth nice. court case? Thank you for the 25, uh, MJ. Appreciate it. Cliff clearly has been listening to the Dark Knight film score and plotting like a villain, my man. PS Jack Moore, so oh many goodness. valid objections here. Oh my. I am not a lawyer, brother. I have no idea what I am doing. I will try my best. Not me. 
Okay. Uh, may I continue? Yes. All right. Um, like I said, all those aforementioned people were downed on the ground. They had been shot. That's when um, Nathan Ross and Joseph Durso arrived on the scene and put Matthew Senge and Jebediah Longnuts in their SUV and took off. Where's okay, Nathan? So, oh, there uh, did, any, did any officers uh, turn up to help uh, yourself? Is it Kevin that was down, you said? Yes, um, there was a couple more officers that arrived to uh, respond to the shots fired call, I, I would assume. Thanks for the two FBI, so I appreciate it. So after you were it. taken to the hospital, uh, what, what happened then? Um, so everyone was taken to the hospital, administered medical treatment. Thank God everyone was okay. Um, from that point, we got called down to MRPD to give our sides of the stories. Um, and then I believe once we presented our sides of the story, everyone was let free, uh, no charges were brought. So the officers just walked away? Uh, yes. They walked scot-free after that. Was any investigation made? No. Even after the accusations you made about the bribery and the shootout and all sorts? Correct. Okay, and did anything else happen after that, or is that just where we are now? Um, that brings us here. Okay, uh, no further questioning. And do I retell the truth? All right, thank you, We're gonna Admit to bribery, no. Okay, well, I'm no, not admitting to that, part. but everything else basically is kind of yeah, like easy to we tell were... the truth about. Yeah. yeah, Kevin Copeland pulled the gun first. Defense. That's why we had the yeah. gun yes. first. Hold on, one second. Like to cross-examine Mr. Copeland. Yes, you guys. We died like kings. You guys will. Oh, oh, yes. All right, get up there. Do your dear job. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. Go ask him some. Go ask him something. Oh God, there he is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gotta be joking. Um. Don't hurt me. Hold on one second. Let me just get prepared, Your Honor. I'm sorry for the delay. Okay. I, don't, I don't know how we're going to cross-examine. We're going to rewind uh, to the events in the courtroom. Now, Mr. Copeland, um, what time did Jebediah call you for the meeting? Was this after the election victory or before? This was after. After the election victory. Now, where did Jebediah want to meet you? In the judge's room. The judge's room. When you arrived in the judge's room, what did you see? Um, yourself, Jebediah Longnuts, and the French guy, um, all standing up, and Nathan Mason laying on the ground with a bullet wound to his face and duct tape on his mouth. So you were not there to witness the exact situation that led to Mason. Okay. Oh, there you go. The there you go, Andrew. Leading questions are permitted during cross-examination. That's true. Prosecution, can you speak up a little bit? I didn't hear your objection. Sorry, we on. All right. I forgot the question. Um, so you were not there to witness the exact events that led to Mason on the ground. Is that true? Correct. So when you say that, you are assuming you're making a plain assumptions of what happened in that room. I wouldn't consider myself any sort of scientist, but I think you are a... an objection beyond scope. How so? He's are you, it's are you objecting to the, the witness's statement? Your I'm own objecting witness? to the question. How so? That question was completely beyond scope. How so? How so? Can you repeat the question? I'm asking his testimony about what happened in the court judge's room is yeah, complete well, assumption. Yeah, overruled. Let's, let's what continue the, with What this. in the world? Okay, so your uh, testimony to what happened in the judge's room is complete or is a complete assumption. Uh, as I was saying, I wouldn't consider myself any sort of scientist, but I think a kindergartner could walk into a room, see three armed men standing over a bloody body with duct tape on the mouth and uh, make a clear assumption to what probably happened in that room. 
but probably is not how we can determine an investigation. Is that true? Um, an investigation would have had to happen, which did not happen. Your investigation did not happen, my friends. So we do not know the truth of what happened in that room. We can thank Commissioner Cliff for not conducting a proper investigation against the... No, uh, we will not. Today. The investigation is still ongoing. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you for the 499. Caboose, right. appreciate it, man. I would like to ask some questions, Your Honor. I'm sure. Oh, great. This guy. God damn it. Please, please don't hurt me, sir. Oh, don't worry about it, Marcus. You're going to be just fine. All right? I would like to ask you some questions leading up to when you walked into the judge room. Now, after the victory, I called you back to come back to the city hall, correct? Correct. Okay. And how long did it take you to get to the judge's room after the phone call? After the phone call, it took us about three minutes. Three minutes. seconds. Three minutes. It took you three minutes to get here after I called you, correct? correct. And, and I told you to come straight to the judge's room, which is where you found... Uh, what was, in, what was his face? Nathan Mason on the ground with duct tape on his mouth and a, gu and a gunshot wound in his cheeks, correct? Correct. Now, that being said... Would you find it to be a bit odd? Well, let me let me let me backtrack. Do you think that I intentionally killed Nathan Mason? Are you asking me my opinion? Related questions are permitted yes. for cross examination. Uh, um, based on sustained. Based. So we're not going to answer that question. Yeah. Now let's go to the next question. Okay. All right. So when you get there, so let's, let me, let me, let me try to get my train of thought then back mm -hmm. one moment. Okay. Would you find it odd that within three minutes I called you to discuss something and then all of a sudden Nathan is on the, on the ground dead. If it were my intention to kill the man, would you agree? That Objection is argumentative. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, judge is stained. Let's uh, reword that question. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. All right. <laughs> I couldn't think about a question that. that. You actually yeah, well, well, what the hell was that? What, what was Mr. that? Copeland, you may take a seat. I did not know how to rephrase that question. Hello? Kevin, we will find you. Just Shit. I'm not a joke. kept saying it over and over. What was that? <laughs> over and over? It's okay. We have. A, they're going to cross-examine me at some point. I'll be able All to right, give my story. Are you going to call your next witness? Hey, let's please swear them in. Yeah, we call Vivi to stand. Oh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Vivi the, the bailiff to say in French. Oh, that was the girl we were going to pay. Luckily, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, we're about to straight to pay her $200,000. Vivi is oh, Blair's God. friend. Dude, I'm not gonna have a full on conversation with this guy. Can he shut up? Jesus I'm not going to talk when I'm on the mic here. And good for me. I solemnly declare and affirm the evidence. I solemnly. De what do you say? <laughs> I solemnly declare and affirm that the evidence I showed. Other witnesses. I solemnly declare and tell the evidence. I don't know what you said. <laughs> uh, what happened? Man, I can hear it. What happened? Please state oh, God, exactly what he's telling you. I know, I know. It's already been a while. I solemnly okay. declare after the and affirm that the evidence that I shall give. Yo, they're butchering this crazy right now. I solemnly declare and affirm the evidence I, that I give. What be the truth? <laughs> what the truth? The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, bailiff. Prosecution, you may be. I couldn't. I really couldn't think of how to rephrase that question. <laughs> you should have just said it again. Like you should. So wait, what was your question again? I was trying to be like, would you think it's odd that I called you to kill, called you while I was perhaps killing him? 
So how you should have phrased that was, um, since you uh, assumed a 12th grader or a 5th grader could piece together that we attempted to murder this person, why would we call you to hinder this discovery or whatever? You know what I mean? Something like that. You can't, that like, still sounds like argumentative. No, but you can't directly point it to him. You have to like kind of like phrase it oh, around something he said. Oh, okay. All right. Because then they can't really say it's argumentative because it's something he said. Okay. Court's weird, man. What do you mean? Weapon of the rats. Uh, it was Moritz. The stabbing. Okay. What, what's going on here? Um, what what are they asking? The elections, where did you go? I have no, no idea. Clue. I went to... I don't know who this person is. The shots fired called. I'm not aware either. Oh, she um, called? How did you get there? The police car. With who? Uh, Jimmy Brownson. Why are we there? I was just in his police car. Okay, and why were we with... Well, sorry, why were you with him specifically? He just dropped me off somewhere and the call happened. Where were you going? I've come back to my apartment. Um, what did you see when you arrived? I just saw like 10 dead people on the floor and then Joe Dessa putting them on, like putting like two or three of them in his vehicle and driving off. Okay. okay. Debater, oh sorry, hold on. Debater, man. Like good good questions. Maybe if I get the chance to cross examine again, I will do All right. that. Prosecution, no cross, uh, player, do you have any questioning? No. All right, defense, you may. I don't even know what her. If you wish. So, what was her? Uh, what was she questioning him there? All right, Phoebe, you may take a seat. Prosecution card, next witness. I don't know. I don't know what we gained from that. <laughs> Literally nothing. That's why they called her off right away. Uh, I'd like to call Huey to say Huey Hillop. Oh my God, DK sucks his dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do, and do. When yeah. you get a chance okay. to cross-examine me, these are questions that you had to ask me, like. Uh, like were we GSR'd? Were we? Was there an investigation? Yeah, we did we find? Did were we? By who? Yeah. Okay. Well, was that recorded anywhere? No one recorded no. that. Okay. Um. Excuse me. What's it called? My bad. Yeah. And I'll I'll basically ask me what I was trying to ask ask him. Like um, what will they say? Repeat after me. Yeah, forget it. We'll figure it out. We got it. Clear and affirmed, guys. Marcus Copeland's buddy. Say that again. I solemnly declare and affirm. I solemnly action. declare and confirm. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence that I shall give. Will be the truth. Is will be the truth. Time. The whole truth. Just oh, come on. We could save so much time. <laughs> come on, guys. So help me God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bailiff. Prosecution, you may begin uh, questioning. Uh, is it all right if I call uh, Huey Hillip DK during these questions? Negative. We would like Huey, him to be uh, referred uh, as his real name. Please. Okay. Huey Hillip right. uh, should be what he was referred to as. So, uh, Huey, you were present during the election, correct? Correct. Bro, Cliff. After the um, election, what happened? Well, there was obviously, you know, a big uh, ruckus in the courthouse. Everyone was all over the place, running around, screaming, dancing, and then some people might be crying. Uh, there was a guy in the back room. Nathan Mason was shot in this courthouse. Objection. Did you, did you witness this? Prosecution I did pause. not. What was the objection? Argumentative. It was not argumentative. How so? He is, uh, he was not witness to the event. Objection. That's Time wasting. not the correct objection to that yeah, Okay. What is the correct objection to that? You may, I'm not going to tell on. you the correct objection to that. Okay, uh, continuing. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. objection overruled. Uh, did you see the shooting happen? Negative. I did not see it. So how did you know that know it happened? I know what happened. How did you know? They are corrupt. Objection argumentative. That was Objection not... sustained. Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, did you object to my clients? I object to the or... witness. He's saying he's making these accusations. He's making a... Prosecution, let's go on to the next question or rephrase your question. 
Okay, so um, did you see uh, Mr. Mason uh, on the floor injured? Uh, yes. So you saw it after the fact he was shot, not yes. during? Okay. What leads you to believe that it was these officers that did it? Well, there were like, there was them three in the room with Mason. And the mm. next minute he's shot. It's kind of, you know, two plus two, you know what I mean? So when you entered, who was in the room? Objection, speculation. Uh, it's not speculation. I believe question. it was the, uh, the three, including that one annoying guy that won't shut up. Uh, so Mr. Copeland and the other Mr. Copeland. Objection! objection! Narrative! Yeah. Alright, objection to stand. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying! <laughs> so, just to clarify, when you entered the room, uh, both something. Marcus and Kevin were in the room, along with uh, the others. I believe so. Were uh, there guns pulled at the time you entered? Or they all Thanks, MJ. <laughs> I don't even I know what I'm saying! I don't even know how that fucking works! From who? Who had their gun out? Everyone. Okay. Dumbass. Mm. So, so after that, what he happened? He wasn't even there. He was. Objection, Your Honor. Could you tell this guy to shut up in the whatever that is? Watch your tone Sweet. up there. Um, Let's stay on topic. Only answer the questions. Well, it's kind of hard to talk when he's not won't shut up. Okay, sorry. Continue with the question. So, what happened after you walked in? Well, everyone was pointing guns at each other. I was told to please leave, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so. You gotta be joking. Everyone pointed guns at each other. Next question. So, after they pointed guns, what happened? What happened with Mason? He just laid on the One floor? One sec. I got it. Oh, is the game gonna crash on me right on now? And then what happened with him? Uh, oh, what a joke. Sorry, Chad. I fuck up a joke. What a fucking joke. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, moment, though. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, look, it's gonna hit the corner. Oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that so crazy? Give me one second. Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to get back in the chair. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm sorry, my fucking game is being a piece of shit. I'm coming back in right now. Oh, good. This some shit. Sorry about this chat. I was trying to sit back in the chair and try to fix it, but apparently the game crashes. Yo, thanks for the 10. BBJ's 21's live. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the 10. Tell Sense to start saying objection, leading. She's a terrible attorney. Okay, roger that. Actually, I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to take here. Like, I want to play it fair at the same time. I'm taking, I feel like I'm taking too much from chat. But, uh, we'll see. Because <laughs> they did spend a lot of time preparing here, and I spent, like, n no time preparing. So, I feel like it's, it's a bit unfair if I just keep rolling with what the chat tells me to do. What's it called? But I'm gonna cross-examine the witness because he was like, what did he say to me? He was like, oh yeah, everyone was holding a gun in the room when I walked in. Like, okay, then you have no idea who shot somebody. Then, then it would be very difficult to figure who the fuck did whatever. Um, the hospital. Uh, what did you do? Tonight we died like kings. Uh, well. Uh, so, they were all, uh, lying on the ground, and, uh, there was a guy that came. Who, was, where, uh, where were they lying on the ground? In the drive, in the driveway of, uh, the Copeland Mansion. So after, after the, the courthouse situation, you went to the house? Yes, as I just said. Okay, and then what? They were all on the ground. You didn't see a shootout or anything? You just No, 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 I was there, and there was a big massive shootout. Guns were pulled. Shots were fired. People were shot. Do you did you hear the commotion that led up to that point? Uh, unfortunately, no. So you just you just turned up and they were already shooting. No, 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 no. I was there before the shots were fired. This guy's kind of used to something. I was there after the shots were fired. Yeah, but I just want to make. Okay, so who uh, who was shot? Oh no, it's useless. I believe Jebediah Longness was shot. I believe Matthew Sange. Uh. The Co one of the Copeland brothers, can't remember which one it was, Mr. Nathan Mason, and uh, the other guy over there on the, on the chair. Okay, uh, I have no, no further questions. Alright, thank you, prosecution. Defense, you may cross-examine if you wish. 
I wish. Okay, uh, what is your name? Private information? Ask what? this question. Donkey Kong. All Objection! Right. Joking around! Perjury. Thank you. Witness, you are being ejected from the courtroom. All of your testimony is to be stricken from the record. Thanks for the Why two, Chrome. Appreciate it, man. Oh my God, good the spot, this is Prosecution. corruption. You may call up your next witness. No. Good job, Matthew. No, you are not for yeah, you want to be a USA. You. USA. For what? Perjury. Send to war room. For doing what? For failing to answer the questions. <laughs> oh, no. Almost. Bro, fuck you. Oh, look at these nice guys. He's ready. Oh, yeah. That's the prosecutor's He's ready. witnesses. Law enforcement, let's get him. Go on, Huey, hell up. You're going to run out the $50,000 fine. Let's get him, law enforcement. That's the prosecutor's witness. Your Honor, I request okay. a uh, five minute recess. Let's get him front Oh, yeah, let's take a five minute recess here. Unfucking believable. Oh, Unfucking believable. Doing <laughs> 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 for recess again? What is it? Where Looks like we're getting out of here innocent. Jeez. Wait, what's recess? Oh, Jeez. my bad. What's the recess thing? Like, shots fired out there. The, the playground, probably. We're doing oh. good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I think so. We're, I think okay. so as well. We are doing amazing. Where's the playground? Uh, judge, sir. Yes. Uh, how the fuck do I get rid of the AFK thing? Objection ruling. Right. Well, uh, I don't need to cross examine him. We're gonna bring up, uh, we're gonna bring up, uh, John Tabernacle. Is this going well? Is this going well? We're allowed to it's ask not going terribly. Oh, you're yeah. back, Joe. Are you back? You didn't. Okay. We're just going home, man. Welcome home. You're barely, dude. We're, this uh, is just the beginning. <laughs> Get your ass the, in the uh, in the game. Uh, no, dude, you're this is really bad. Custody. Okay, listen. You, you want to do a really good job? Uh, uh, say that I got you. Your stream doesn't hear. Ah, uh, impossible. Just uh, DM me. Okay. Or actually, no. You can tell me. Hold on. Let me give me one sec. I'll turn off. He said that that Eugenio Alfredo is his favorite. Alright, go ahead and tell me now. Alright, <laughs> uh, we'll get a warrant out, bro. Is he in custody or did he keep going? Uh, that's fine. We just don't show up. Just, just show, be in the crowd. Don't be in the witness stand. Right, let's get the, uh, let's get the one back in the security. We're good to continue if you'd like. We're doing Those good, guys. Oh, uh, uh, well, um, just, just, uh, um, wear a hat. Wear a hat. Yeah, we're doing pretty. We can't be on this side actually. Like so we gotta. We gotta. Oh, sorry. Move. Yeah. Because yeah. it's too close All to right, the jury. Let's get seated again. We got two minutes remaining. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. No, it's quick. Anyone oh, I can't. I cannot right, wait to to, to, to get like Nathan off the stand. <laughs> I cannot wait for that moment. I that oh, it's gonna be so good. Keep this work up, boy. I'm gonna let them begin the questioning too. <laughs> I'm gonna let them do it. <laughs> negative. What'd you call me? Brad, you're doing such a good I job, said negative. man. I'm so proud of you. Alrighty, everyone in their seats. Can someone explain to me what objection narrative means? So I know what I'm saying, because I don't know what that means. Good start. You know what? Let me look up all the objections. <laughs> Alright. All session. court objection means. Um, I believe they're still in a talking somewhere. Do you mind if I go look where they are? Oh, here they are. Oh, bye. And leading uh, as well. Know. Please ignore those beanbag shots. Uh, Is leading like uh, leading to an answer or something like that? Your Honor, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I would like to know why they were just talking to a witness privately. That is a very good question, actually. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, it's, that was something very personal. Well, personal. that should have um, waited until the court case was finished. Yes. I'm sorry. There was a recess. Your Honor, we requested the dismissal of this witness. There was a recess. That, that's no grounds, Your Honor. This is my We judge. don't know what was You're happening. talking to a witness. And the trial is not completed. There was a recess. Wanna, we can talk to fine. anyone we wish to. Do you want to pull them into a separate room and find out what they were doing? Yeah, if you want to do that, Commissioner. I'd also um, like uh, the, the, the radio the taken off of the witness oh, because he's been contacting about mm. Senj and Scotty, Jebediah. Uh, can you go over with Commissioner Cliff, where we'll take over for now? Blair, you may call your next witness. Yeah. I did that. I did that. That's me, right? You are oh, that's, that's what leading is. So you have to ask yes or no yeah. questions yeah. on the stand. Is that how thank it is? You, thank you. Yes, witness. All right. Isn't that Cliff's son? It is. That's where he got the last brain cell. Sorry if I uh, if I mess anything up. I'm not as smart as you guys all. But Mr. Your Honor, I would like to say a speech that I've prepared. 
Okay. First, you need to be sworn in. Oh, well, yeah, sorry. Ahead that's of yourself. Okay. Land and go ahead and raise your left hand. Yes, sir. Yo, thanks for the 30, MJ. Appreciate that. The Good question afternoon. asks the witness to relate a story rather than state specific. I solemnly facts. declare ah, and affirm. Okay. That the evidence I shall give. Got it. Okay. That the evidence I shall give will be the truth. Will be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Amen, brother. Okay. They're good. Oh, yeah. Uh, requesting the speech, Your Honor. Uh, let's hold that for the end of the questioning, all right? Okay, there, that's fine, that's fine. Prosecution, you may go. Okay, so, uh, just like to be reminded that this is a, um, character witness on both, um, uh, Mr. Senge and Mr. Landon. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, the chair. <laughs> uh, Mr. Landon, how long yes. have you known, uh, these two people in question, in what capacity? I've known Senge for a little bit, like, probably like a month. Jebediah, maybe for like two weeks. About. Okay, and can you describe the nature of your relationship with these individuals? I mean, from what I've seen, they're both they're Come both on. good cops. That's they right. They follow the law. That's they right. Follow traffic regulations. Everything on the outside seems to be very good. That's right. Okay, and what is your opinion of the two people's characters, values, and integrity? I personally don't agree with their morals, and I believe that they don't follow our constitutional oath. What? Uh, would you mind expanding on that? What the hell? Um, I just believe that, uh, I think they had poor FTOs and they weren't, they weren't taught the right way. Okay. And in your experience, how have these people, uh, demonstrated any honesty or trustworthiness? I'd say they're both pretty trustworthy people, from what I can see from my perspective of how they've treated me. But I know when I have heard, uh, rumors, and I'm almost positive it could be true, about them uh, not being so trustworthy to other people. But for me, they're very trustworthy. And have you observed um, these people in various personal and professional situations? I have. I've uh, viewed them in situations where they were immature and when they were mature, they're professional and not professional. Have you ever observed these people acting aggressively, dishonestly, or unethically? I have. Could you describe a situation? Um, yes. Uh, it was a few weeks back, maybe not even, it was like a week. I was at a uh, PD meeting with Mr. Senge, and he was declaring things which I will discuss in my speech, but I will go over right now how he uh, declared of how he was going to murder Mr. Copeland after this court case. Oh. <laughs> Stop, and, Andrew! Uh, Stop have, laughing! Have ...has been submitted to the court. Andrew, you can't uh, laugh oh. about that in front um, of the jury! You, <laughs> you gotta be joking! How people handle stress or difficult situations? <laughs> I think they need a good therapist, maybe a hug, maybe even a little kiss. They don't really handle it well. Oh my I can God. see, Sorry, see them little, some sweat going down their face right now. They're a little scared. Would you say that it's okay. they handle stress in difficult situations violently or appropriately? I'd say it's a little bit in the mix. I think uh, maybe they should get a psyche eval. Maybe they have split personas, you know what I mean, type deal. I feel like sometimes they're pretty cool. Objection you know, irrelevant. Like, all right, yes, sir. That's yes, very sir. relevant. It's a character witness. I'm scared, so I'll just say, yeah, sure. But he um, doesn't have the qualifications to judge someone if they're mentally stable. So therefore, uh, he actually, can't say that. Objection. Uh, can I do that? Can I make an objection? You cannot make an objection. No. All right. Uh, let's keep that sustained. Landon, if you want to reword your statement. Yeah. Uh, as former EMS and uh, one who was uh, a part of the mental eval program. You have a valid PhD. Okay. All right. I'll just go to my next point. It's fine. They're scared. Okay. Um... Okay, how would you describe the people's reputation in the community? I'd say uh, Mr. Sanj is considered as a joke. Um, sorry for the disrespect, but... Objection, I mean, argumentative. That's his opinion. It's a character opinion. witness. It's yeah. a character, character witness. witness. Yeah, it's a character witness. It's a character witness. Uh, but Jebediah Longnuts, I believe, is a good person. And I believe uh, Sanj is dragging him under, and I don't believe this is his right person. I think he's a better man. Okay, uh, no further questions. Did you yeah. say you had a speech or something? I did. I prepared We're a speech. We're gonna hold that for uh, after cross, cross questioning. If, yeah, uh, sure, you can do that. Would. Defense. Cross you wish to cross examine. No, I kind of forgot what he said at the beginning. Defense. So. Oh yes. Yeah, uh, all right. Okay. Mr. Yar, I would like to uh, delve further into this so supposed press uh, conference where uh, you uh, where I said these things. Now, what uh, sort of press conference was it? Was it a uh, 
can you can you just describe the type of press conference for me? It was a police press conference held in the MRPD briefing room. Um, to which it prevailed, I have no clue. I was only attending about 50% of it. Uh, I believe it was to be an honest night. We were asking you questions about what would you be doing after this court case. Uh, Jebediah was singing. Very good singer. Um, Thank you. And we were just kind of talking around, getting to know each other. I thought it more as a get to know each other kind of deal. And uh, I feel it was very informational for me because it helped me determine who you guys are as people. I see. Uh, do you believe that missing 50% of the meeting uh, could uh, have you missing some sort of context of what was going on? No, I don't believe that. Because if you say so, you're going to kill somebody, I think that only means you're going to kill somebody. I don't think there's any further context to that. What do you say if someone was heavily intoxicated, um, they would say things they don't mean to say? I believe then you should be terminated from the program as the FTO director, as being <laughs> on duty and under or over the alcohol limit, you should be terminated, and you should have charges pressed against you. Who is the FTO director? I am, Landon Young. Oh, I thought you were calling me the FTO director. No. Um... Were you under the influence? I mean, you are under oath, correct? This, he's under oath, right? Do not ask me questions. Am I'm I asking ask questions? If, Am I not allowed I'm to ask questions? If you, if you miss 50% of the meeting, the meeting could have been a roleplay group where... <laughs> 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 role play yeah. as extremists. <laughs> do you understand? No, I don't understand because you're on duty as an officer. And you're well, yeah, in we the were, uh, And there were multiple officers saying they things about Hamas and Israel and the like. And there was all sorts of controversial things being spread around. <laughs> I think, wouldn't you say that missing 50% of the meeting would be a questioning? Objection leading. I'd like to comment on that. Am I good to comment? Sorry, I don't know what I'm Delicious. allowed to do and not allowed no, to do. No, we're gonna... We got an objection from that prosecution. Oh. Yeah, it was a leading question. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, am I in trouble right. or is he in trouble? No, oh. you're not in trouble. No, you're not in trouble, man. Okay. Whew. Thank All you. right. Any more questions? Oh, man. Fans? No, I got nothing. Does he have a speech? Oh, shit. Speech, please. I spent like an hour Defense, and a half right do you have now. any more questions? Yeah. Uh, you're on out. I actually have a question. Yeah, let's get defense's opinion first. Defense, do you have any further questions? For whom? Uh, for this witness right here. No! The defense does not have any further questioning. Thank All right, you, Your Honor. defense, prosecution, are you both okay with Mr. Lennon Yar saying his speech? Absolutely. Negative. Uh, not okay. No. If, if, All right. if, um, I would like I to... Not I would, the speech, so... I would like to see the speech sure. first. No, you wouldn't. You're not a representative of our legal team. Uh, the defense, uh... Objects to the speech. Let him speak. All right, Landon, you can sit Let down. Him speak. I'm sorry. Really, please. The uh, defense uh, agrees to the speech. What? The defense agrees. Okay. okay. You talk to me right. first. Why would you do that? Good afternoon, Why everybody. Would you do that? I may not be a. The smart... defense objects to the speech. <laughs> the <defense laughs> okay, Landon. Okay, okay, in the middle of it, man. That's stupid. It's too late. <laughs> why would you say yes? Final decision to object. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you say yes in the first place without asking me? Why did you make his high hopes up? I literally said no. don't. No, yeah, you just, no. Come you on. You wanted to hear it. It. No. Freedom of speech. Please. No. Nope. You said After? you wanted to hear it. So do we want to hear it? Or not? Silence no, in my courtroom. I do not want to hear it. <laughs> okay. They want to hear it. Nope. No. Your Honor, the final decision is to object to the speech. To object to the speech. All right. Prosecution. Do you have any further witnesses? Um, I believe. Oh, yeah. Can we call Benny Brown to the stand as character witness? All right. And this is uh, the witness that was spoken to prior, but that was sorted, correct? Yeah, it's been yeah sorted. it was not about this. Who man. the hell is this guy? Uh, uh, Your Honor, personally, how do I know that they're not lying? Shut so it. This is the commissioner of the police, the joint police force. I trust his word. Oh, never mind. All right, bailiff. Yeah, I cannot hear his microphone. Yeah. Is that good? Hello. Hi. There we go. I've never met this guy. Can you repeat after never me? Never seen him. I don't think. I solemnly declare and affirm. I solemnly declare and affirm. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence I shall give. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. Swear me, God. Swear me, God. Amen. Amen, brother. 
All right, prosecution, you may begin questioning the witness. Okay, can I get your name for the record? Uh, Benny Brown. Uh, how long have you known the person in question this being Mr. Marcus? Um, for about four months now. Can you describe the nature of your relationship with the individual? Uh, towards the start of our relationship, it was more Marcus was my boss up at Harmony, but as our relationship has developed, we've become more friends. And what is your opinion on his person? I um, Marcus is true to his words, and like if he says something, he will do it. It's happened many times, he's said it many times to me, and he's stuck to his word. In your experience with him here, would you say that he has demonstrated honesty and trustworthiness? Uh, yes. Can you recall any specific instances of this? Uh, yeah, so um, once I... Um, so basically, not many people know this, but I was demoted at Harmony from my managerial position and Marcus showed me honesty and trustworthiness uh, by explaining why I was demoted and he Objection. also... What are you objecting to? It's a character it's witness. It's a character witness. witness. Uh, what is a character overall. witness? It's a uh, witness. Speak on your character. character. Can I continue, please? Yeah, please. Do. You may continue, prosecution. And when right. it, it, what was they at? It's when they're trying to oh, show yeah, the about person. Oh, yeah. Um, so Marcus are, um, and Kevin uh, decided to demote me. It's like what you wanted and to do. And honestly, about, like, by telling me what I can do to improve <laughs> and um, achieve my... Did Cliff just hand him something? Okay. Um, in your, um, has he ever acted aggressively, um, unethically, or dishonestly to you? No. In your opinion, do you think he's the best foot for, to be mayor? Um, yes, definitely, hundred percent. How does he handle stress and difficult situations? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know how Marcus handles stress. I've never seen Marcus stressful in his life. Oh, and how would you describe his reputation? Oh, uh, Marcus is very reputable. As if he wasn't reputable, he wouldn't be mayor. I got a final. What was that? Here, go to the microphone. Yeah, go back to the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that Mr. Senge could complete the job as Mayor of San Andreas better than Mr. Mayor? Objection! No. Relevance! This is a character witness, Your Honor. This is highly relevant. Yeah, but you just asked him his opinion about something. That's on a character of Marcus. Yeah, all right. But your Objection opinion sustained. is throughout the entire yes. thing. But that's on a character. Let's have it You're doing a character. Right now. All right, guys, it's a stain. Next question. Withdrawn. You like that objection? I did that my own, on my own. You like that shit? Like I thought of that ahead, on the Sam. spot. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, this, on, we're gonna Sam. lose this fucking case. Uh oh, what is your name? Uh, Benny Brown. What is your relation with uh, Mark Copeland again? Oh, it's Benny Brown. Um, so we started out as like a he was my boss up at Harmony, and we've become good friends nowadays. Have you ever been charged with a criminal offense? Uh, yes. What sort of criminal offense? Um, you're gonna have to look it up. Have you ever been charged with a violent criminal arrest? Oh my god. I'm. You're gonna have to look that up again. Have you ever been charged with relevance. attempted yeah, second relevance. degree capital murder twice? Objection, relevance. And marked violent uh, in our police system. Mr. Sanchez is relevant. I get to stop. The case. It is relevant because we have a man who is speaking to Marcus Copeland's character, but his character is. Yeah, his parents, uh, yeah, objection, his this is his own witness statement and opinion based on someone. It has nothing we're, to do with his criminal We're not background. asking for his character, we're asking for Mr. For Marcus's people, character. I would like to question his integrity. Uh, but, of his, his credibility and, matters, Your Honor. And his credibility. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to agree with the defense here, yeah. That's what I'm talking about! So, That's what I'm talking about! Since yes, we continue. are um, establishing your credibility as a witness, uh, Sorry, Cooper. <laughs> My dog just looked at me like, bro. <laughs> Do you tell me? You, you're... I need a yes or no, please. You want me to read it out from the tablet? Yes, please. I request commission. Every single report that has been written. Roger, on, uh... may it please the court. Uh, the witness, uh, Benny Brown, has been charged with failure to be a traffic control device, first degree speeding, battery, accessory to escape custody, three counts of evading criminal possession of a class one firearm times three, reckless driving or speeding times two, criminal possession of a class two firearm times two, possession of a firearm with scratch off serial number times one, two, attempted second degree capital murders, criminal possession of marijuana above the legal limit, criminal possession of government issued equipment, grand theft auto, second degree, uh, third degree speeding, failure to stop, illegal turning, reckless. 
reckless evading, robbery, possession of contraband, criminal uh, criminal use of a firearm, kidnap of a government employee, uh, assault and battery on a government official. Hmm. That is... Your Honor? Uh, that is all sorry, objection. Asleep, objection. Huh? Yes. Um, I just want to state that, you know, when the, within a... Oh. Within a legal proceeding, it's actually not permissible to object to a witness character based on their criminal history or record. Too late. <laughs> I'm his, uh, credibility here. Right. You want to be established in first person? Your Honor, we are simply establishing his credibility. That's all. We're not. Yeah, it... But this is based on his opinion on a person. It has nothing to do with the fact he has a criminal record. Yeah, Your Honor, Your Honor, in conjunction with the uh, trials of courts, this is highly, highly. Um, unorthodox, and I must say that this is completely irrelevant because thank you, you for the five, Landon. On the characters, I spent two hours um, on a witness group. character due to their punishment what? history. Uh, well, Your Honor, someone's crazy. They're it's gonna it's allow. Uh, Your Honor, yes, I would love to, but we're still trying to win the case, Landon. I don't know. Yeah, but it says uh, this is a character st statement. It is an opinion. It has nothing to do with the fact he has a criminal record. Your Honor, can I approach the bench? Uh, you may approach a stand with the microphone. Bro, what is up with the shooting? Well, you ruined it. No, no, it you ruined the it. In the, uh, court trial Thank you for the two FBI. I appreciate that, man. Claim credibility on the witness um, due to their. Um, uh, FBI should. I would recommend applying anyways. Sometimes the hours doesn't matter. That they've proved it's committed, and it, it says in the proceedings of court that you cannot do that. So we motion to strike. Yeah, let me, let me check my government tablet here. Okay, Your Honor. You see, I can see both sides of the argument here. I mean, yeah, but I'm the credibility talking... of the case. But this is a legal courtroom. We should really follow the laws. Yeah. Should we not? Could you uh, please submit what you were looking sure at? Not, the jury heard it. To the evidence. Of course, Your Honor. Can you just give, uh, so can can you just give me two minutes? This is the prosecution sure. witnesses, folks. You want to just put a pen in it and then move along until we do Yeah, yeah, let's... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna revisit you, Benny Brown. Um, any more questions? I will be back. Uh, uh, defense has concluded his questioning. Thank you. All right, Benny, you may be seated. Prosecution, you may call your next witness. Oh, please call Mason. Call Mason. I dare you. Yeah. I would like to call up uh, Mr. Mason. Oh, it's Mason. over! It's over for. It's fucking time, fellas. Ooh. It's time. Yeah, well, I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her begin the question. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop her in the middle of it a lot. Fuck. Are you okay? Yes. Clearly not. Chief Justice, do you need any help? I'm okay. All right, Chief Justice. Welcome to this courtroom. Nathan Mason, please raise your left hand. Repeat after me. I solemnly declare and affirm. I solemnly declare and affirm. That the evidence I shall give. That the evidence I shall give. Will be the truth. Be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Prosecution, you may begin questioning. You got her permission to speak. Ah. Yeah, permission granted. Let's hear this. We request the dim dis dismissal of the witness Nathan Mason. His medical record shows that Nathan Mason has been diagnosed with early onset dementia, which challenges his ability to provide a true and accurate piece of testimony, sir. Because you shine. Actually, Your Honor. Submitted into evidence. That's true. Yeah. With it not being submitted as a dismissal or a, a pretrial motion, it actually can't be. Prosecutor. Uh, uh, evidence has been submitted. Defense, has, was this uh, report submitted into evidence? Yes. It was. All right, let me take a look. And which number was it? It's also on his MTD file, which is a matter of public record. Yeah. Your Honor, the evidence sure. was uh, not submitted in the uh, proper channel. Uh, I mean, proper it is. But it is public However, record. It is public record. It doesn't matter submitted. if it's public they, record, it's not was not submitted, and that was stated at the beginning. We well, can call it the public record if we choose. Right. If it's Here's public what we're gonna record, do. The jury will take into here. account his medical diagnosis, and we'll still That's hear fair. out his questioning. That's fair. All right, you may begin questioning. 
Uh, Mr. Mason, do you recall uh, being president at the time of the election? Which election? The uh, election with uh, Mr. Mayor Marcus and Matthew Sand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was the usher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember reading out the votes? I very much do. And do you remember what happened after you read out the votes? Um... Uh, which part? Okay, you tell me, at what point do you remember up to? Um... I remember looking up. I was on the floor. It was, I don't know, I think I was bleeding from the mouth, from the cheeks, and... Uh, I don't remember, I think it was Senge. He took duct tape and put it on my mouth, and the blood, I just kept choking on it, and... Yeah. Do you remember who shot you, or do you just remember that? All I remember is the blood, the taste of iron. Do you remember going into the room and the people he went, went into with? In the room was those three right there in the stands. Uh, it was Jibbidi <laughs> Long Notes, uh, the ugly rat guy in the ponytail, and uh, Matthew Sage. Okay, and was Mr. Marcus or Kevin in that room at the time? Uh, they were called there later on. Okay, we got all crosses. Yeah, I'm in okay. this guy. Um, do you remember who helped you? I'm whispering. Medically. Uh, Camilla Martinez. Uh, was it just her alone? Um, well, uh, no, no, I, w I opened my eyes and Marcus was there. And he said, Nathan, you hold on. You hold up my black brother. I will save you. Hold on for me, man. He, he, I remember holding him, putting put pressure on their cheeks. And, uh, and then I saw Martinez and, yeah. That guy's not in the block. Okay, this is getting a bit. Emotional. Give me a second. Oh, give me, <laughs> tissue. give me a break. Do you got a tissue, Scotty? I don't have a tissue. Take some paper. Oh my God, grab it. Grab Objection. It Theatrics. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is human emotions, guys. <laughs> I am a woman. I am just a woman. So Sorry. Continue on with the questions. Do you remember waking up at the hospital? I do. I very much do. Oh my God. Do you remember being driven to the hospital, or do you just remember waking up there? I, I just remember waking up there. Okay, uh, do you remember anything that happened after that? Um, I met up with, um, with Hubie Hulop. What uh, happened? We went, for, we went for a drive to the Copeland Manor. Kevin Copeland had a business deal with Hubie Hulop, and I was to oversee it. Um, we went down there, and out front were... Sanj, Jebediah, riding with the rat face guy. Um, and I remember the rat face guy had a rifle in his hand and he was waving it around. Okay, do you remember what happened after that? Uh, I, I remember the rat face guy shooting people. Who the hell is the rat face guy? Okay, um, do you remember how many people were uh, your injured? Your honor, sir. It had to be two or three. Okay, were you injured at all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, I believe. Hold off for a second. I, I, I don't recall. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, okay, okay, oh God, okay. Uh, did the defense have anything to say? You're interrupting. The defense, uh, do you want to speak up? What was that? Um, who is the rat guy? That is you. a very good question that you can ask in uh, cross-examination if you wish. That man with uh, the ponytail. He... That man with the ponytail. Can you be a little more specific, please, for me? Black suits, red face, white handkerchief. I am not a rat. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't even ask questions anyway, because you're not part of the defense, are you? I am. Oh, defense did say he's not part of the legal co-counsel. Our prosecution, literally questioning. Yeah. Stop! So, what happened after people were injured at the, the house? Uh, the police arrived. Uh, Matthew Cook. Um, uh, I remember, uh, Jebediah walked around the corner and was like, what the fuck's going on? And, uh, I'm sure Jebediah was confused, um, although Senj and the rat face guy were the ones I'm causing confused. the violence. That's a good joke. I'm confused. Um, 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 uh. Would you like Joe, to. Joe Durso. Right? Jo, his name is Joe. Joe Durso pulled up and started pointing guns. Okay. Uh, did he use this weapon? Uh, I, 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 I can't remember. That's okay. We can move on from that question. Oh my god! What's going on out there? Right. Oh, why? Wow, that was 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is... it's time, gentlemen. Open my mare! I can't breathe! Shut up, everyone back in. He's good. We're 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 good. Gentlemen, if we could please have a fire truck in here to clean up the blood. I am fuming. I apologize. Yeah. Your Honor, Your Honor, I would like to formally apologize. This man is no longer. Was this, was this a BB gun? Yes. What, what? yes. Your Honor, I would like gun. to question the integrity of our security How does someone get an airsoft gun in this? Hold on, I'm going to get you back. Hold on. I will. I handled the situation. He is no longer here. Everybody may continue. If you need to do a recess, you may do a recess. Thank you, Your Honor. No, we do not want a recess. All right. Please oh. continue. I apologize. I pissed. I pissed. Uh, yeah, I asked. Ask Thank you, Jack. I do not want another slip up like that in my courtroom. Are we understood? I'm going to slip on the blind is what's going to happen. Lunch break. Your Honor, I request janitorial team. Um, I believe that not everyone is present. They're still... What just happened? <laughs> At least the real criminal was shot. All that for, like, little to no reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amen. Sorry, guys. Hallelujah. That recess thing should be over now, I think. Yeah, guys, let's, let's get back. Thank you. Okay, where was I? So, after the, the shootout, do you remember anything at all, or is that where your memory kind of stops? I can't remember. Okay, no further questions. Jab your cross again, I'm taking order. Um. I thought you wanted to do this. Yep. Okay. Your Honor, we will be cross-examining. You would like to cross-examine? Yes. Alright, approach the bench. Okie dokie. So, Nathan Mason, is it correct that you have dementia? Huh? Who? You. I'm talking to you. Me? Of course, yep, that's right. I'm talking to you, Nathan. Have you ever been diagnosed oh. with dementia? Diagnosed? Yep. Do you know what that means? Yes. Have you been diagnosed with it? It's a yes or no question. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the judge room with that information. Keep that in mind. Do you remember, can you describe to me the events that uh, happened inside the judge room when I brought you in there after the uh, Copeland victory? I remember some of it. Okay. Would you like to Describe in detail exactly what happened in the, during those events. Uh, you came up to me and you said, Hey Nathan, what would happen if I rigged this election? Continue. Uh, and I said, Jebediah, don't do that. Go ahead, continue. Let's go, uh, let's, let's go all the way until you were shot. I was bleeding. No, 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 no. Put duct tape on my mouth. Okay. Who put duct tape on your mouth? Matthew Sange. Matthew Sange. Okay. And you, do you remember who shot you? I don't remember. Ask if he ever possessed a firearm. Okay. Now, have you ever... Do you own a legal firearm, sir? Do you practice the Second Amendment? I can't remember! I can't remember! I can't remember! Mr. Mason, Chief Justice, take a breath. <laughs> do you own- Stay strong, brother! Do you own a firearm, Nathan? Yes, my good son. Of course, brother, of course. Was that firearm on you when you were inside the judge room? I don't remember. Were you ever GSR'd? After, um... When medical came, or when you received medical attention and all that, did they ever check you for gunshot residue? GSR? Gunshot residue, yes. Uh, I, I don't know. So. Alrighty, guys. Uh, no, well, I have one this. last question, one last question.